Hey everybody, this is Matt. I'm making a new Pokemon TCG video. This video is going to be talking about one of my favorite cards right now, Burning Energy from XY Breakthrough. When people think about special energy, they think about double colorless energy or dragon energy or strong energy. Because DCE shapes any format it's legal in, dragon energy makes any dragon Pokemon much easier to power up, and strong energy was a piece of the puzzle that allowed fighting type Pokemon to become so strong in the past. But there is a slew of other special energy, most of which don't see much play because their effect is not that potent. One of those cards that doesn't get talked about as much, and I'd argue not because it's not that good, is Burning Energy from XY Breakthrough. If you don't know what it does, basically you can only attach it to Fire-type Pokemon, and when it would be discarded by the effect of, of that Pokemon's attack, it gets reattached afterwards. Which is a fantastic effect, given a huge mechanic for Fire-type Pokemon is discarding energy to do lots of damage. So I wanted to mention some Fire-type Pokemon cards that I think would work fantastically with Burning Energy. So two cards to mention from the same set Burning Energy released in, Mega Houndoom EX and Typhlosion. Mega Houndoom EX evolves from Houndoom EX, and for two Fire Energy it does 80 damage, which is okay, but you may discard all Fire Energy attached to it in order to do an additional 80 damage for a grand total of 160 damage. The attack is cheap, and even if you just have one Burning Energy on Mega Houndoom EX, and you discard the other energy, you can still easily keep him powered up with your one energy attachment each turn. If you can get two Burn Energy on Mega Houndoom EX, you never have to worry about putting any more energy on him. For a two energy for 160 guaranteed attack, which is pretty nice in my opinion. Typhlosion has two attacks. You mostly see him used for his first attack, hopeful to one hit KO all the opponent's Pokemon. But his second attack isn't awful, 3 for 130, and you discard the energy attached to Typhlosion in order to discard the energy attached to the defending Pokemon. You really only need one Burning Energy attached in order to reap the benefits of not having to discard any energy and still getting an energy discard on the defending Pokemon. Given 130 won't one-hit KO most EXs, discarding the energy of your choice on the defending Pokemon could be useful in case they have any double colorless energy or dragon energy. Next, I want to talk about two cards from Steam Siege, Infernape and Talonflame Break. Infernape has two attacks, but we're really only looking at its first attack. For two Fire Energy, it does 120 damage, and you have to discard all Fire Energy attached to Infernape. So it's similar to Mega Houndoom EX, where even if you can only get one Burning Energy on him, you can keep him powered with your one energy per turn attachment. But if you can get two Burning Energy on him, you're set. 120 isn't going to one hit KO a lot of things but perhaps his quickness to set up and power can catch the opponent off guard. Either way, Burn Energy makes him a lot better. Talonflame Break is a very cool card. The non-break version of Talonflame has become an interesting addition in lots of decks helping them set up. What makes it weird is that the non-break version that is seeing so much play is a normal type Pokemon. So you can't start attaching the Burn Energy until it evolves into the break version, which is a fire type Pokemon. For two fire energy, Talonflame Break does 150 damage and you have to discard all fire energy attached to Talonflame Break. So a very similar attack as Infernape, but it does 30 more damage. 150 will likely one hit KO any non-EX, so it has merit, and if you can get one or two burning energy on Talonflame Break, it could deal a decent amount of damage in a game. The last three cards I want to take a look at are all from the brand new Evolution set. They are the Infinite Charizard, Ninetales, and Ninetales Break. That Charizard. The Charizard. The Charizard. The only Charizard card everyone ever talks about. It got remade in Evolutions, and instead of doing 100 damage for 4 Fire Energy, it now does 200 damage for 4 Fire Energy. Which is great, but you have to discard 3 energy attached to him in order to do it. So Burning Energy works really well here. If you can get one burning energy attached to Charizard, you only have to discard two energy attached each turn to do 200 damage. If those two energy is a double colorless energy, thanks to Charizard's ability that allows any energy attached to him to provide fire type, then it's possible to repower Charizard each turn with a new double colorless energy and keep it in for 200 damage. If you can get two burning energy on Charizard, then you can easily keep him powered up with any energy attachment each turn you're technically only discarding one energy to deal 200 damage, which I think is a great deal. Not saying this will be easy, but I'm happy that there is some way to actually make the old Charizard slightly playable again. 
The next two cards are connected, Ninetales and Ninetales Break. Ninetales has two attacks, but his second attack takes three energy and does 120 damage, but you have to discard a fire energy attached to him. All you need is a single burning energy on him to remove the discard penalty. 120 isn't a lot, but it's something. Ninetales Break does it so much better though. For a fire and anything else, Ninetales Break does 10 damage and forces you to discard all fire energy attached to it. His attack does 60 more damage for each energy card discarded. So if you have two burning energy attached to Ninetales Break, the attack would do 10 plus 60 plus 60 more for a total of 130 damage with technically no discard for two energy. Throw in another fire energy, burning or not, and he's doing 190 damage for three energy and one discard which you can power up easily each turn. Let's say best case scenario you get 4 burning energy on Ninetales Break. Ninetales Break's attack would be doing 250 damage with technically no discard involved at all. That's really really nice. And although not likely to happen that often, it is an appealing as a possible event. Burning energy works really really well with Ninetales Break. So those were 7 newish cards that work really well with burning energy. I hope you learned something about this special energy card. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a fun time playing Pokemon TCG in the future. Bye bye.